Give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Give a man a hundred billion dollars in investment capital and you create one of the most unpredictable and determined businessmen of our age. Masayoshi Son is Japan's most unpredictable investor, gambling on investments that are clearly risky and always coming out on top one way or another. In this video, we'll be getting to know Masayoshi Son, the craziest investor of all time. Stick around until the end and you might just find some meaning in his insanity. Who is Masayoshi Son? Masayoshi Son was born on August 11, 1957, an ethnic Korean born and living in Japan. Masayoshi's early life in Japan was anything but comfortable. Forget $1 billion, he barely even had $10 to his name at times. Taking odd jobs here and there as a working student, Masayoshi started dreaming of a life where he wouldn't have to keep breaking his back for minimum wage all the time. And so he did. Inspired by Japanese entrepreneur Den Fujita, he decided to pursue an education in America where he would study computer engineering and business at the University of California, Berkeley, but not without promising his mother that he'd be back home right after he graduates. Now Masayoshi san was nowhere near amazing when it came to academics, but what he lacked for in smarts, he made up for in instinct and pure unadulterated determination. Studying in Japan didn't make the money problems go away and now he was juggling both his education and his finances. Now most entrepreneurs would often urge you to save up and invest in yourself, focus on your studies and gain experience. As effective as this advice may be, Masayoshi wasn't your typical businessman. To make money, Masayoshi-san began inventing various electronics and gadgets ranging from the mundane to the extremely complicated. With the help of some experts in their field, Masayoshi-san was able to create and patent a pocket electronic translator, the first of its kind at the time. But inventing is the easy part, it's selling the patent that made it difficult. After moving from door to door selling his patent, Sharp Corporation eventually bought Masayoshi's invention for $1.7 million, a huge sum of money for a college student, but pocket change for him in the years to come. After graduating from Berkeley and getting his degree, he fulfilled his promise and moved back to Japan immediately. It's here where his vision for the future would grow even stronger. SoftBank Legacy Masayoshi-san has always been a forward thinker. His time as an inventor instilled a problem-solving mentality. If he wanted to make a lot of money, he needed to look to inventions that could solve many problems, and no other product had more promise than the computer. Masayoshi knew in his gut that computers and the internet were going to be the next big thing when it comes to society, and he wanted to jump on it straight away. That's when Masayoshi established the SoftBank Group Corporation in September 1981. In its early years, SoftBank was merely a PC distribution service that was banking on the world's interest and demand and personal computers. What most of you may not know though is that owning a PC was very niche in its early years, and so Masayoshi had a very rocky start. There wasn't enough demand for the product that he was selling, and his colleagues were urging him to jump ship because he was basically throwing his money away. Despite all the warnings, Masayoshi remained headstrong. He established himself as a large player in Japanese electronics, an investment that truly paid off when people finally realized the value of computers. But distributing hardware wasn't the only focus of the company. The company also invested in multiple internet-based companies in the early 2000s. While online businesses may be bread and butter these days, back in the 2000s it caused an entire market crash. Online businesses were valuing themselves higher than they were actually valued, causing most of SoftBank's investments to plummet. Keyword, most. That's because one of Masayoshi's biggest investments would be on the website Alibaba, owned by Jack Ma, a company that is now providing a steady stream of profit to SoftBank because of its mainstream success. Masayoshi remembers putting a lot of faith into Jack Ma just because of a gut feeling and a look in Jack Ma's eye. It was obvious that Masayoshi had a knack for discovering success right before it happened, and he decided to profit off his skills. Vision Fund Masayoshi-san wanted to use his talent for the benefit of him and his stockholders, but to do this, he knew that he needed more money. SoftBank itself was raking in quite a few big bucks, but as big of a dreamer Masayoshi-san is, he wanted more. And so he turned to one of his richest and powerful business partners in the world, Mohammed bin Salman, otherwise known as the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia. In future interviews, Masayoshi would go on to say that he closed the $45 billion investment deal after just 45 minutes of negotiations. 
That's $1 billion per minute. Couple this $45 million investment with $33.1 billion from SoftBank's own pockets and a large sum from both Saudi Arabia and fellow tech investors, and you get the fabled $100 billion investment fund, aptly named the Vision Fund. SoftBank officially launched the Vision Fund in October 2016 with $100 billion to invest however they liked. In the very first years of the Vision Fund's operation, its portfolio contained a total of 88 companies. Of course, there are the big players like Apple and Microsoft on the list. Both companies are sure to be profitable no matter what the situation. But one of the industries that SoftBank was very interested in was the travel industry, pouring significant resources and ride-hailing apps like Uber, Grab, and Didi. While the investments itself have been profitable and going according to Masayoshi's plans, there are some investments that Masayoshi couldn't account for. Portfolio Flops Being a fund that's being closely monitored by businessmen and shareholders, Masayoshi Son's investment blunders are just as famous as his investment wins. Take for example his devotion to ride-hailing apps like Uber, Grab, and Didi. Although the investments themselves were highly profitable at the time, no one could have seen the big change coming. Coronavirus during the pandemic, most ride-hailing apps were brought to a grinding halt. In fact, during the pandemic, SoftBank was estimated to have lost a nauseating $14 billion in a single year. The fund was officially running low, and what did Masayoshi-san do? He stuck with it. And because of his tenacity when it came to his investments, the fund is now doing better than ever before. But what happens when tenacity just doesn't cut it? One glaring example of Masayoshi-san's blind enthusiasm can be found in their involvement with WeWork. Established in 2017, WeWork was a company that wanted to establish and sell shared workspaces for those in need. Think cafes with free Wi-Fi, but bigger. Now, on paper, this may sound great, but what really convinced Masayoshi-san was that glitter in the CEO's eyes. And oh boy, was he wrong. Masayoshi-san invested a whopping total of $13.9 billion, eventually earning an 80% stake in the company, 9.5 of which was invested just to stop WeWork from failing. This was the main flaw of having too much money and why Masayoshi-san was called more of an insane gambler than an investor. Masayoshi-san would take the immense wealth of the Vision Fund and pump it into small startup companies that barely knew what they were doing. Companies like Oyo and Zoom, two tech startups that dreamt big, got consumed by SoftBank's initial investment and crashed and burned. Now normally, this insight would discourage any budding investor to take risks, but again, Masayoshi-san is not your normal investor. The Future Today, SoftBank's Vision Fund has diversified its portfolio even more, stepping away from ride-hailing apps and now taking larger bites of the AI industry. It seems Masayoshi-san's new vision is the growth of AI within our industry, a fate which feels like an inevitability at this point. Whether that's a good or bad thing depends on who you ask, but Masayoshi-san is definitely all in. While his previous failures with tech startups have left a bad taste in his mouth, Masayoshi-san still stands undeterred and continues to invest in tech startups that have the potential to go big. So, if the definition of insanity is doing something over and over again, expecting different outcomes, then Masayoshi-san is indeed the craziest investor of all time.